Morning, guys. How's everybody doing? Hey, okay, guys, we got a response from someone named Michael. Uh, seems like Big Ass is in an uproar. Well, guys, when you put two and two together and you just listen. Remember when Carissa showed um, her phone and she said, oh, you know, like she was showing that Gary was making two, three thousand dollar deposits in her cash app and then she was paying him. It's called washing dirty money. I said that to you guys. I've been saying this for a while, right? That controller and Gary, you're going to spam with me. You're going to spam with me. At day correct at 15 to 20. That, that he was laundering money from Mr. D's laundromat. There's just a couple subtle things that he was saying that she was. They're fucking drug dealers. House gets raided. Weapons and drugs. She's showing cash ads. Oh, here's my dad gave me. It's called washing dirty money. Now it's kind of funny because this motherfucker right here has said he's known them for 15 years or since they were 15 years old which is 20 something years Michael says what the fuck made you think that Gary launders money through the laundromat I'm asking you because you hit the nail on the head brother he's been doing that shit for 35 years Years, that's no exaggeration whatsoever. He's told me word for word that the whole point of him having it was to wash his dirty money clean, hence the inside joke, Mr. D's laundromat, he had with his father, Mr. D, dirty money. How the fuck is he wealthy, but he is on welfare and he gets Medicaid? So, you see, guys, nobody said anything, yet this guy knew he was on welfare and Medicaid. But they're scamming and laundering money. She can't help herself from just lying and lying and lying. Did she mention how when I was living there, the, the New York Police Department kicked down the door with a search warrant looking for guns? I doubt he was able to get tipped off that they were securing a warrant for his home and got all his guns and drugs out of there, but I was still arrested for, oh, he was able to get tipped off, but was still arrested for 3,000 plus rounds of ammunition, numerous amounts of paraphernalia, etc., and couldn't even make a $500 bail. Myself, I had to go to the laundromat and empty all the chains from the machine caches at the bank and fucking bail him out. That's just the tip of the laundromat. Oh, that's just the tip of the fucking iceberg, bro. I just wanted to get that message out tonight so you have something for now. But trust me, I can go on and on if you want. Um, he's talking about sending him a cure, uh, a package through Amazon. Um. He's just talking about stamps on the bottom. I know you're from Michigan. I'll answer some of your questions tonight. I'll send you another message tomorrow. Just wanted this to get out. Okay. Then the other stuff's about, because I, I told him I'm going to give him. You guys, listen. If his max date is November or December of 24, they can't keep him longer than his max. And I'm, and I'm, pretty sure that's that was his max he's not violating jack shit because he's not reaching out to that party he can speak to whoever he wants bitch you could go run to whoever you think now all of a sudden you're scared you never even brought him up barely oh we did drugs together oh, oh we did drugs together now you find out they did laundry, launder money from the laundromat. I fucking told you guys. Gary just seems to me he's a fucking pussy weasel. 
He couldn't be a connected. Capo de Tutti, soldiers, whatever the fuck you want to refer to him up the ladder. He's a pussies down here. All he is is a yes man. They got a business. They funnel fucking dirty money through it. Again, why do you think she kept showing a couple hundred thousand or a couple thousand here, a couple thousand there? You know why? Because if he gives her money on a cash app and she sends it to him little by little, all that bitch has got to do is say money for rent, money for groceries, money for this, money for that. Fucking people should start looking into this fucking family. Control uh, Gary, fucking that piece of shit in Brooklyn. They're all tied together, funneling money till you get caught, asshole. You love blaming everybody else. You and your fucking family are a joke. Guys, there's going to be a lot more where this came from. Fuck you, bitch. Everybody's sick and tired of your bullshit. You can't do dick. And I'll make sure you can't do dick to that guy. Because I reached out to him. I'll fucking handle that shit. He can have whoever he wants call me. Lawyers, fucking court, whatever. He has no domestic, no violence, nothing in his fucking record. You're a liar. Fuck you. Now all of a sudden... She's telling the world her kid's in a private school because of him. But you were talking last year or whenever it was that, you know, you wanted St. Clair or whatever uh, school, right? Had nothing to do with him. You never brought him up once. Now you're bringing him up. You're a sack of shit. See, you're the fucking piece of shit that men fucking hate. You're still trying to fuck with him. There's no DV. In his past, he wasn't charged with it. Nothing. You're a fucking liar. Your family, you don't want everybody to know that Mr. D's laundromat was laundering money and scamming people. That's what you fucking low-level, dumb, fucking what you call it to do. <sighs> fuck you, bitch. And fuck all your stupid fucking followers. Guys, it's right there. More's coming.